Whether we like it or not, the NFL running back, the image that we've seen at running back, it's changing. It just is. Uh, and I'm the guy that was the only reason I started watching NFL football. Well, the biggest reason. Well, my dad was a Vikings fan, so I watched because of him. But also, Adrian Peterson, man, that was the guy. I Just 2007, first round, uh, seventh overall pick. I just remember him catching a touchdown pass against the Falcons, and it was over. Over! I watched ever since then. He was one of my favorite. I would say Adrian Peterson is my favorite player of all time. Just watching the man, what he did for the Vikings, and just, ugh. The, the, but the days... Those days are over, and it's unfortunate. Those first-round running backs that just come in, make an immediate impact. You build a team around, pay millions of dollars, like hundreds of millions of dollars just to come in and play for you. Yeah, those days are over. Unfortunately, now we're in a era of the NFL where you're paying – you know, you're really not going to pay running backs most likely a lot in a second contract. You know, if you're a team like the Patriots, you keep running backs pretty expendable. Uh, evidenced by, you know, uh, drafting Ramondre Stevenson, letting guys like LeGarrette, LeGarrette Blount, all those guys walk in the past. Um, even though, I mean, James White just continues to find his way with that team because he comes back on relatively cheap deals. You just, you don't pay for running backs these days. And it's, an, it's a shame. Uh, and I think that's kind of the, uh, the biggest um, thing we're seeing with the Las Vegas Raiders right now. We're talking about a guy in Josh Jacobs, whom, who, or whom, I'm sorry, I hate to bring it back with, a, with an office episode here, but who I feel like honestly does deserve a, a second contract with the Raiders. Yes, he's had a couple of injuries here and there, but he is kind of a heart and soul of that running game at times. Like when he's on, Maybe he's on. Uh, yes, he does get injured at times, but I mean, it is what it is. That's what you get when you get a Super Bowl star running back that just carry the load. But the new uh, cookie cutter, the new way in the NFL is having those running backs you draft in the third, fourth rounds, find a way to develop them. Uh, you know, they're not, for the most part, they're not bell count running backs. They can catch and run the football and they can pass block in. That's pretty much it. And I think that is exactly what we're going to see in a guy like Zamir White, who is the future. He's the future at running back for the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, I get it. This man has had a couple of torn ACLs in college. I understand it. I get the apprehension. But look at the man that has the the like the type of production that in the limited action he did have. We're talking about a guy that had over 2,000 rushing yards for the Bulldogs, won a national championship last year, had 25 rushing touchdowns in three seasons, you know, back-to-back -back in which he had uh, 11 touchdowns. You know, I just feel like now you're looking at his receiving stats, not exactly great, but at the end of the day, I do think there's more that tells the story. I feel like, you know, when you're going to be in a pass-happy offense, I think, or at least should be in a pass-happy offense with Derek Carr on all the weapons he got, uh, he's going to have to catch the football. I mean, they're going to have to set up screens, get this big boy out uh, out in front and running uh, and doing his thing because he's, he's going to be, I, I think he's obviously the future. Yes, this year's probably going to be Josh Jacobs and company uh, for, for this year, but after that, baby, it's Zamir white time it is it is his time to shine it's Brucey's time to shine you gotta love the longest yard but overall Zamir White I think he's clearly the future for the Las Vegas Raiders and it could be I mean we could see him this year be that number two back you never know I mean training camp all these other camps kind of coming around this could be a very special time for a guy like Zamir White I think you know uh, is he worth the fantasy uh, pick right now probably not probably not but if there is injuries like we saw with Josh Jacobs uh, and if there is a, a way that he could get on the football field, I do think that the Raiders could find themselves in a position where, hey, your rookie fourth round pick that you didn't know you're probably going to need at this point, or you know you were more planning for probably for the future, uh, yeah, he's seeing the seeing the field. Excuse me. So yeah, we saw injuries last year with Josh Jacobs, Kenyon Drake. Uh, you could realistically see Zamir White be your starting running back. I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. I think at the end of the day, you really have to be prepared and ready to go for the best case scenario uh, and just to see who can come in right away and do the best thing for your team overall. So uh, I'm really excited. I think that Zamir White is clearly going to be the future, and I think that the Raiders could be in a worse position. And I think this also could signify the beginning of something that we're seeing with the Raiders just in general. It's, hey, we draft running backs every couple of years, guys that can come in, run the football, catch the football, do their thing, uh, and just uh, and be just just players for the franchise. I don't think I think that the, the days of the you know first run running back are shrinking. They're coming to an end. I know as Brees Hall got drafted by the Jets. I think was what was he like the highest running back drafted this year? So it's coming to an end. Like this is a new era that we're facing in the NFL, and I think it's going to be something to watch out for. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Not a comment. A comment. 
Hey, yeah, leave a comment. <laughs> we greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys. We love you guys so much. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Also, remember to leave us, uh, or excuse me, remember in the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also, remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about Zamir White being the future at running back for the Las Vegas Raiders.